Scientists are using stem cells to repair joints and cartilage in patients suffering from rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disorder affecting 1 in 100 people around the world. Normally, your immune system makes antibodies to attack foreign substances like bacteria and viruses. With rheumatoid arthritis, your immune system mistakenly directs antibodies to the lining of your joints. This causes inflammation and soreness of the tissues between joints. Chronic inflammation destroys the nearby bones and cartilage, which is the connective tissue that cushions the joints. This erosion results in severe pain during movement. Over time, it becomes harder to run, walk, bend, or even just put weight on your joints. Currently, there is no cure for rheumatoid arthritis, but stem cell therapy may soon become a better treatment option for people suffering from this ailment. Unfortunately, it isn't as simple as you might hope. Stem cells are uncommitted cells that have the ability to be converted into other types of human cells. They are like master cells that can be used to repair any type of tissue in the body. The most common type of stem cells used for treating arthritis are mesenchymal stem cells or MSCs. This type of stem cell is usually collected from the patient's fat tissue, blood, or bone marrow. The only FDA-approved stem cell therapy for rheumatoid arthritis uses stem cells from human umbilical cord tissue, as they are more robust than mesenchymal stem cells obtained from other sources. MSCs suppress immune responses and start producing anti-inflammatory agents which only act at the site of injury. As most stem cells are collected from the patient's own body, the immune system does not recognize them as foreign invaders, so it doesn't produce a negative response. Stem cell therapy with MSCs also produces T regulatory cells, which are a type of immune cell that protects the body against immunological self-attacks. Once stem cells are programmed, they can be delivered through injections into the patient's blood or joints. This forms a framework upon which stem cells can multiply and form new cartilage to replace the injured tissue. Another method of transferring stem cells involves surgery. In the surgical treatment, joint surfaces are exposed and stem cells are transplanted. Growth factors are supplemented to enhance the healing process. In one clinical trial, 172 patients were divided into two groups. One group received regular rheumatoid arthritis medication, while the other received MSC treatments. Those receiving MSCs showed significant and persistent improvement in their condition. However, treating rheumatoid arthritis with stem cells is still experimental, which means there are certain risks involved in the therapy. The problem with stem cells is that these cells can continue to evolve. They can divide many times and differentiate into many cell types, increasing the chances that a tumor will form. Also, MSCs suppress the immune system, making the environment more favorable for cancerous cells to grow. A 2014 review showed that treating arthritic joints with MSCs may worsen the condition. Intravenous injections of MSCs into joints triggers the development of special cells that play a role in joint inflammation and destruction. So, all things considered, this research is far from over, though one thing is certain. Stem cells use in treating ailments will only continue to become more prevalent as time goes on because of their incredible versatility. With any luck, we'll find a way to mitigate the risks in stem cell therapies and be able to heal sick or injured people using these amazing cells from their very own bodies.